and a very happy 4th of July Eve to you. Two years ago we did Soundgarden 4th of July, and last year we did Chris Cornell's solo acoustic rendition of that song. And what do you know, just a few days ago, Painted Shield released a brand new song called 4th of July. So thank you, Mason, and thank you, Stone, for keeping our streak alive. If you haven't heard the song, I will put the link in the description to their music video. And here we go. Get your favorite acoustic guitar and put the capo on the third fret. Grab an A minor chord, and it's the old bouncing bass note trick. That's the second time I've fallen for it this week. You're going to pluck A, B, D, G. And the second set of four plucks is exactly the same, except instead of starting with the A string, you're going to start with the E string. E, B, D, G. That's one pair of stuff. We're going to do four pairs of stuff. A, B, D, G, E, B, D, G. Second time. Third time. Fourth time switch to a C chord for the second four pairs of stuff, and the plucking pattern is similar, but a little different. It's going to be A, E, G, B, and the bouncing bass note occurs on the E string again, but you're going to fret it on the third fret. You can use your ring finger because we're not going to pluck the A string when we've bounced our bass note. E, E, G, B. So that's one pair of stuff. We're going to do four. A, E, G, B, E, E, G, B. Second time. Third time, fourth time. You go A minor for four pairs of stuff, C for four pairs of stuff, and alternating for the first minute and a half or so of the song. Now it's time for the guitar riffage. You have four musical beats to cast away your acoustic guitar and pick up your electric. This is going to be four things as well. The first thing begins on the E string sixth fret and goes six, eight, up to the A string sixth fret and back to E eight. Six, eight, six, eight. And then we're gonna do three grace note hammer-on thingies. Grace notes are notes that barely happen and thingies is not an official musical term. From the E string, six to eight. And then down to one. At which point we make an F power chord and I believe I hear a grace note hammer-on thingy here as well on the E string. And then we're gonna go little muted strums before we play a B flat power chord on the A string fifth fret. And then I believe I hear two more little muted F notes at the end on that E string first fret before we move on to the second thing, but that was a whole bunch. Let me go through it nice and slow. Now that you've learned the first one, the second one will come a lot quicker. It starts the same. But after our two little muted strums, we're going to go A1, E1, A1, A3, and then two little muted A6s there before we move on to the third thing. So... suit, the third one starts the same again, but after our three grace note thingies, we're landing on A8, and then we're going to go A string, 10, 6, 8, 3. And the fourth one is the same as the second one. I don't have whatever slicer effect Stone is using there, so I'm just going to approximate it with you know, little muted strums like that. But we're going to start on the E string 5th fret, and we're going to go immediately up to the 8th fret. That's the first thing. The second thing is going to be the E string 5th fret and the A string 6th fret. I'm listening to the last chorus, and this time I think I hear for that first chunk. And then up for 
that C power chord on the A string third fret. I don't know if I'm just getting better at hearing it or if they did it different that second time or if that's not even the guitar doing that C. But that's there for you to consider. Anyways, thank you so much for being here on this 4th of July Eve. I hope that was fun and helpful. Who's going to come through for us next year? And I will see you next time with more stuff. Be safe, everybody, and goodbye.